Hi everybody, how are you? Gosh, give me just one second because my um my camera has been abducted by my son again and I've had to rush around at the last minute and try and find everything. Right. Hi everyone, <laughs> hi everybody on playback as well. Hi Jill, hi Debbie, hi Lisa. Right. <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of a mess around today. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. I'm going to... Uh, sorry for the glary light. But it can't be helped. It's really dark here this morning. It's just the big black clouds looming over. It's just pouring down with rain. It's only reflecting off the jelly pack. So, I'm going to play with these things. Morning, Terry. These are jelly plates. Mine are disgusting and horrible, so look after yours better. <laughs> I'm just like, just get them out. I've got this size one. They're like jelly things. And as you can see, I take great care over my things and I clean them. I haven't used these for ages, so this is going to be fun. I've forgotten how how I used them in the past. <laughs> hi Harmony, who have not said hi Mark, hi Diane, hi Chloe. Oh, you get this one. They're a bit difficult to get out of the cases. So I do try and put these things back on them because they are a bit sticky. I've got like Cyril hair. Cyril gets everywhere. They are sticky things. Um, sorry. Right, and I've got this A4 one and the smaller one. So I'll be messing around with both of them. This is quite a nice I'm going to do stuff in my sketchbook. I've got this one's stickier than this one. This one's going to be weird. I haven't looked after that one. This one, I have looked after a bit more. They do start off um, not, not yellow. <laughs> Have a nice hello to hi Christine. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do some. I'm not sure. I've got some acrylic paint and stuff, and I'm just gonna start playing about. Sorry, I'm really thirsty. Been doing stuffs this morning. Right, I've got rollers too in my box of. This is, oh, sorry about my um, wire. Something weird going. This is my. <laughs> I'm going to pull the case. Oh, get out. This is my box of um, bits. So I might take a few of these. I've got some rollers and things. Scraper tools and whatnots. Toothbrushes and. But here's some more of these. I was looking for these the other day. I forget what I've got in here. Anyway, I've got all that stuff to use to make... I like making textures. This is annoying me. Get up there. Is that out of the way? Yes. <laughs> so I'm playing... Fighting with the cord. Right. I'm not sure what to start with. Let's just get a roller. Um, I don't think there's a right way and, or a wrong way um, of doing anything, really. This has got this one's got quite a few indents on it because mine are like seven, eight years old. They're probably eight years old now or more. So I got them when they sort of first came out. But anyway, I'll just start and then you can see what happens. Um, just acrylic. I'm just going to roll a bit. I get annoyed with rollers and then I just end up using a paintbrush. You don't have to have the roller. <laughs> so if you just covered your jelly plate in paint like this, you can just 
use it to I haven't got any wipes with me I should get some wipes and then I can wipe it off then you can just print like this this is like very basic -da, and it gets all the texture and stuff from the roller so then you can start thinking ah oh, mono printing which I used to love I haven't got any paper maybe I need to get some paper if you get a scrapey tool so I'm just finding some scrap paper I've got this scrappy this is this is scrap paper I'm just going to use the print came out really well not and um, so if I got a scrapey tool let me just put a bit more paint on there for a purple color I just use the end of a paintbrush, you can scrape into it. Move that out the way. I haven't got much space here, it's annoying me. And then if you print with it, just press it down. You can do anything with them and you get that. What I used to like doing is, um, let me see what I've got here. I want black because I like black. I've got some black gesso here. You can, you can use any paint on them, I think. You splob a bit of paint on there. Blob a bit of paint. I don't, I don't care that it's mixing with the purple. <laughs> and I've probably got far too much paint on here. I might stick some on this one. I need more space. More space to play. See, I spit far too much. Oop. And this is, I like doing this. So I put the paper on top of the um, jelly plate thing. And then I like to draw like really loosely, Let's just draw a weird face. And that didn't work at all. <laughs> I put the paper down too heavily. What I'm trying to do is do it really lightly and then you can get like a print off. This didn't work on that one. Not working on that one. Maybe I've got too much paint on there. Anyway, maybe if I scrape into it, it will work. You can tell I haven't used these for ages. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. T. I'm not sure who else is here that I haven't said hello to. You can just watch me making a mess. <laughs> See, that works better. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Oh, get away. Go away. And you can keep printing. I use jelly plates for backgrounds mainly. And nice textures and things. You can do so many things with them. I don't use them how they're supposed to be used, I don't think. <laughs> it is fun, Mrs. T. You can, oh, you can use stencils as well, um, like paper stencils. I haven't got paper stencils, but I've got this stencil. Let me try this one. Let's try a bit of yellow. is really runny paint so I'm not sure how that's going to come out. I use the roller it's got black paint on it. I don't want a bit of black and yellow. So if I stick that stencil on there and then slip it over <laughs> so 
so it's not sticking very well. And do that, it should come out. I'm trying not to get paint over everything. Press it down. Da -da, that's so good. <laughs> My paint wasn't coming out properly. But then you can do stuff like this. Let's try the black again. Sometimes if you put the stencil down, right, I'll put the stencil down and then I'll do the rolly black over the top. I'm in a sort of different colour. I've got this oil paint to use, which would be cool. Get over it. It's probably not going to work because my usually the best things to use, stencils to use, are ones that are, I'm going to do what I was doing in the first place, are ones that are, um, what do you call it, made out of paper, thinner stencils. <laughs> I'll try and find a thinner one, this has got lots of spray paint on it, so it's, um, I'll try and stick it down a bit better, that might be better. If it come out, this is the bit of paper I used earlier. This might come out better this way. No, never have enough room doing this. You just end up having, oh, that works nicely. You just end up having loads of um, bits of paper everywhere and it just goes everywhere and, it, and it's fun and you can get really creative. And you can stick, you can put textures and things on as well. Like if you got, I haven't got everything here with me. It wasn't like, so I'm so prepared as normal. You can put. Let's try this. You can put um, bits of paper. <laughs> Mrs. T's asking. She's just curious. How do I decide what to paint? or create on any given day, um, I don't know. I just do what I feel like doing, really. I don't really decide anything. <laughs> My microphone lead keeps getting in the way. <laughs> Is that Mad Max? Is that a Mad Max? Sim oh, I don't know what it's from. I think my son used it on his skateboard or something, something like that. I don't know. See, this is where I, I just end up finger painting and not using the roller and I just get stuff everywhere and it's cool and I don't care. <laughs> Yuck. And you just end up in a big mess. Yeah, I like that one. I'll wait for it to dry, but it's going to take forever to dry because it's um, oil paint. So I'm going to slap this on this other page. Get over. What feeds my creativity? I don't know. I just have to paint, really. <laughs> Interesting. Let's pull the stencil off. It gets drier and drier each time you use it, so it does dry quite quickly, the paint, but it does sort of all peel off in the end. So 
there's a theme here. <laughs> Skulls. I'm going to draw some faces over the top of them. I like that one. Right, so that's the sort of thing you can use your jelly paint for. It's lovely, it's great for backgrounds. You can go crazy. I haven't gone very crazy this morning, but now I've, I've had enough of it. <laughs> I haven't got enough room, but I thought I'd just show you what they can do. I can't even find my smaller one. Let's try and clean the paint off of it. It is a good idea to clean them before you put them away. Um, the paint sort of just keeps coming off of it. So I end up like with weird textures everywhere. So I'm just going to carry on playing on this. Because I quite like it. Oh look, there's a little scribbly illustration there. I didn't realise. Um, yeah, I love the textures you can get with it. It's really cool. Right, I'm going to work on this page. Joshua Alexander painted his fingers. I will have a look at his channel. I don't, I paint with everything. <laughs> Let's just use the paint up that's on the roller. There's a special name for these, is it a Brea? 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 I don't know. I try and keep one cleaner than the others, but it hasn't worked because I'm messy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mrs. T. Yeah, it's good to copy other artists, even though it is a no no if you're going to sell stuff, but I learnt from copying other artists like when I was a teenager all I did was um, draw you know Athena posters this is the 80s I'm talking about I used to get um, the catalogues and I used to copy all the paintings in there I used to painstakingly because most of them were like airbrushed and I used to like painstakingly paint them to try and make them look <laughs> look like the originals. We should spend hours doing it. Oh, you, you should smell my water. It's disgusting. It smells like a bog. Look. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, I'm just sort of doodling. <laughs> Get some things out of my head today, I think. This paint is um, car paint. It's called Sherwin Williams or something. I've got 10 tons of it. And it's really good. And it's better than, dare I say, it's better than golden paint. But you can't get hold of it <laughs> very well. Oops. Let's stick some, some really cheap acrylic paint. Places. Here comes Cyril. He's having a stretch. In his morning yoga. <laughs> so it is a cool stencil. My son cut it out. It is from something. Is it Monster or something? Monster Drinks or something? I've got a whole load of stencils that I use. Um, this stencil you probably see quite a lot in my art. Me and um, 
Nuno did that. And this one. I cut them out of cereal boxes. But they, I use spray paint and then they get really hard and brittle. So I have to keep cutting them, but I haven't done much stuff lately. It's good to use. Let me show you some more sticks also. Rummagee, rummagee. <laughs> Yeah, he has been very good lately. I have been, I was sort of training him to stop barking so much. I don't think it's a broken stencil. Apparently, you've been a good boy. And then I got the complaint from the neighbours. But that was before I sort of started training him. And he's picked up quite well about the not barking thing. But the, also the neighbour's dog hasn't been around so much. I'm not sure what they've done with it. Yeah, Monster Energy drinks it's from, and that that's the one. My son drinks them all the time. It's not good, is it? <laughs> it's not as bad as he used to be. This is just a pencil. Well, what make paint? What makes paint good? This, what I find good about this paint, I, if I wasn't given it, I'd never buy it. But um, it's got lots of pigment in it, so the colour, however much you dilute it with water, the colour's like so bright. And these are translucent as well, which I quite like. Some are more opaque than others, but the pigment's so strong in them. They they're used for car paint, so you'd only use it a little bit. They're like the dyes you put in. So this would probably paint like five cars or something. <laughs> something like that. Anyway. That's what I think a good paint is. It's gonna that's why I like these I also like the Liquitex heavy body paint as well, because the colours are really when I'm doing this sort of painting, I love anything that's bright and um these are quite opaque, but I just love paints that like are nice colours. Like these cheapy paints, they um they dry really dull. So yeah, but I use them still because I don't I don't mind. It's only in my um it's only in my sketchbook, and that doesn't really matter what you use as long as you're like being creative <laughs> it's like... Sorry, I was just trying to read the, the chat. <laughs> it's further away up here and I have to like lean forward. <laughs> so if you saw my head, I'm just trying to figure out what everyone's talking about. I've, I've got lost as usual. <laughs> oh, sorry Marge, poor doggy, she's deaf. Yeah, my sister's little dog is um, he's quite old now, he's called Bob. He's um, deaf and I think he can't see either at the minute. So I've changed this into something different. This is a horrible person. Sorry. <laughs> Stuffs. Oh, she was born deaf. Oh, so 
I suppose it's better than going deaf. I don't know. Maybe so she can learn better. Yeah, my dog's probably going to get it deaf. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Terriers sort of do, don't they? Or is it more like white dogs or something? Oh, I don't know. Something like that. Is it white animals are sometimes deaf? I don't know why. Like white cats are often deaf for some reason, I've heard. Maybe it's not true. Maybe it's just all lies. <laughs> has to do with the white pigment in there is oh I can move that yeah I don't know. so it is true something to do with white things being deaf white animals hmm Sorry, this is not like my watercolours, is it? <laughs> Getting a few things off my chest here this morning. Pen's not working. I think that's what I'm run it out. Let's get a yellow one. I could do yellows. Blue, I need some blue, blue bits. Now the pages are probably getting stuck together. Oh no, 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 right. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. T. Where are you going now? Night. <laughs> I'm going to have to go in a minute because I've got to go to the post office to pick up a parcel and they're only open between 7am and 9. Was it 9 or 8? Yeah, 7 and 9. So once I've finished having a rant on my journal page, <laughs> I'm going to go. And I think I've done enough. Oh, thank you, Christine. <laughs> I'm missing hugs. <laughs> I haven't been able to get down to see my family lately. So I miss them. I've got my son here, but he doesn't. He's a typical teenage, well, he's not a teenager anymore. <laughs> I 
Right. I think I'm done with this one. <laughs> yeah. Right. That, that's a bit of an angry page. <laughs> we just flick through the rest. This is a. It's really nice to draw over these pages. So that that was a bit on jelly plate. Jelly plate. This is what I did the other day, and I don't think I've done any more. No, I haven't. I need to do stuff on top of this. I'm going to get carried away. I could sit here all day just playing in this actually today, but I'm not going to because I've got to do stuff. <laughs> Right, thank you for joining me, people. And I'm going to go off to the post office now before they close and say, you can't have your parcel. And there's a bank holiday here on Monday. So um, I'm just going to take you off here because I'm going to show you Cyril. He's like in his bed. Say hi, Cyril. He's a good boy. Cyril's a good boy. You are. Sorry, I've gone in my doggy voice. <laughs> Right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>